Good morning, Yvette. How are you doing today? I'm good, Errol. How are you? Fantastic. Congratulations on Act Your Age. This really is going to set the tone for many things. First of all, I'm, I've been a big Bounce fan since it started. So it is my go-to. And the way that I get it is through that the, the HD antenna. And it's right there with my Channel 3. Errol, thank you for mentioning that. I think people don't realize that antennas still work. They're still great. And you can get a lot of great entertainment right through the air. Thank you for saying that. Well, yes. It's right. An antenna. It's right there on balance. I mean, it'll sit there. We'll binge watch right there. Episode after episode after episode. I love it. I love it, too. And I think people, they just don't know that bounce is floating above their head at any time. So I just hope that if we can get anything out, it's like it's in your house already. Get an antenna and watch it. It's such a great network. <laughs> to be a part of this show, it, you, you've got to know inside your heart that this is reality going on in the real world where where women are getting together and, and, and they're doing exactly what's on this show. It, it, that's what I love about it. It's so real. Yes. I, and, you know, I, I joke all the time about I talk to my friend group because I'm single and. I don't have kids. And so I think, well, if this is what it's going to be, I got to find my group of girls and where I can, we can eat some cheesecake and talk about life together. So I've already started send, sending out feelers and, and applications. Would you like the room upstairs or the one downstairs? And, you know, are you tidy? So I think it's just great. And, and you know, this is the first a series where black women of a certain age yep. are getting to show what it's like in our late 40s and early 50s. And, and I, I just love it. And we got two young people besides the fabulous Kim Whitley and Tisha Campbell. We have two young people, Mariah Robinson and Nathan Anderson, who play um, my daughter and Kim's son, respect, respectively. I keep saying respectfully because it's early. Um, and it's, 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 it's for every generation. It's for men, women, whoever you are. Come on and watch the show. You know, the one of my essential jobs that I do and I. I I, I grabbed this job during the lockdown. I said I went. I took a job at a grocery store, and I'm so glad I did because I get to see real people, and I think that's what I'm mm-hmm. seeing um, on on this show. Act your age is that I see the girls coming in. It's one when yeah. when when it is a thirsty Thursday, and we've got live music <laughs> at the grocery store. I'm seeing the girls come in. It's their night, and they're out having fun. Absolutely. And the thing is, you know, there's been a lot of talk lately about, you know, being in your prime when you're in your prime. I think that this is, despite what some people on CNN may say, this age is my prime. I, I know myself. I've I've made my money. I've done my career. Yeah. I'm, I'm caring for my father. And I have a great group of friends that I, I get to, to lean on and who lean on me. And we're having a great time in life. And so I hope that when people tune in to watch Act Your Age Saturday nights, that they'll get to see what it's like. It does. Life doesn't end at, at 35. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. the best years oh, yeah. I feel for me are ahead of me. And I've been enjoying this time of my life. You're so right about that, because I'll tell you what, that changed for me at the age of 40. And now that I'm 60, mm-hmm. I can't wait till I'm 70. I, there's just, I call it the Yoda effect. I can't wait to be Yoda. Yeah. Oh, you know, let me tell you something. Same with me. Uh, it, it, it clicked for me when I turned 50 because I realized I can say whatever I want now. <laughs> like I'm at the age I can wear what I want. I can say what I want. Nobody can stop me. And I've always been very bossy and I finally get to give advice and people will actually listen. Yep. I'm like, this is great. This is great. <laughs> Yeah, you walk up to younger people and you go, well, I don't know about that, man. And they go, is there something wrong? Yeah, I, don't, I, I tried that no. trick. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, and they'll listen. They'll actually listen at this age, which is really great. <laughs> so when you get the scripts, do you get, to, do you get to do any improv or anything? Because you guys sound so natural and you're coming off like, like this is really happening. Well, the beautiful thing about working with Tisha and Kim is that they're both sitcom veterans. And so we have a shorthand. It's like a muscle memory when you do sitcoms. So um, we get to play off of each other and come up with different interesting things that we can do together. But I got to say, most of it is already on the page. Allison Faust, our show creator, has made something that's really amazing. And so we just come in and go, oh, I get to do this this week. Oh, we're doing this. And then if you find a moment where you can say something a little sillier or do something a little silly, we do that. But it's really already on the page. So what are the outtakes? You know you're going to have to release some of those. The three of you together, come on. You know, I, absolutely. And the bad thing about me is that I don't, I, I'm like the one that's like, I'm going to say this line I'm going to do. And my character's like that too. Angela is very straight laced and by the, by the book. So I'm not on the gag reel as much as Tisha and Kim are, cause they get to be a little more silly in their, with their characters. Um, but yeah, you want to see the, 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 uh, the outtakes for this first season. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous is the word I will say. Well, being the former first lady of Virginia as Angela, did you, are, are you from Virginia? How, how are you bringing this together? No, I'm from Cleveland, and, and uh, early on, Allison made it clear that Angela was kind of a Michelle Obama-type character. Yep. Her husband yep. on the show, Davis, has passed away, so she's re 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 
jiggering her life, so to speak. Um, but I, you tell me Michelle Obama and I know how to play her. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think Angela is definitely more uptight than Michelle Obama is and probably way more judgmental than Michelle Obama is, but I know how to stand in a room and how I should speak and how, so I, 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 I pull that from our fabulous, uh, forever floatus. So yeah. Now, I've seen television shows get their start on Bounce, and then they've moved to other features. I mean, are, are you guys are going to stay there so the, on, on Saturday nights, but I mean, do, is, there, is there an outreach or anything like that that you guys are wanting to grow into? Well, we know right now that we'll be there Saturdays, and then we'll also be on the Brown Sugar app the next day. Nice. If if the show takes off, you know, the way Bounce and Scripps um, have been handling this, they, they want this show to be seen by as many people as possible. So we already were repurposed a couple of times on ION, the other great network owned by Scripps. And so, I mean, if there was a chance to put us somewhere else, I'm sure they'd take it because they want us to grow and they want Bounce to grow. And once again, listeners need to understand, it, it's an antenna that you can just go, you can go pick it up anywhere, even at a Walgreens. Yep. And, and yep. you hook it up and you get like 50, 50 50, 60 channels and bounce on is my it's three number two when it comes to the HD channel. Yep. And the thing is, once you you buy the antenna once, so some of these things you got to these streaming channels, you got to pay every month. You yep. buy your one antenna and you have bounce for the rest of your life. So go and get that antenna. Do you feel like that you're you're part of a new generation of pioneers in the way that because, you know, it, it's it's like HD radio. It, it, it didn't really take off the way that everybody wanted it to. So now HD television bounce is one of those pioneer kind of a steps. Yeah, and, and you know, I think it gets a bad rap. I remember the first time I started talking about antennas, people were grousing like, ah, it's biz rabbit ears. And no, 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 they have HD antennas for smart TVs. Yeah. And why would you pay for something you can get for free? <laughs> I don't understand it. It's 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 in the air above you right now. Get an antenna and tune in. And not just for act your age. There's Finding Happy's on Bounce, Johnson's on Bounce, Greenleaf is on Bounce. Uh, I just watched Waiting Exhale last week on yep. Bounce. Like, it literally is a wonderful destination for entertainment, and it's free. Get an antenna. And just watch the watch the network. Plus, for millennials as well as Generation X and Z, is is the fact that they can see some of those early days shows that that are, that we grew up on, and and it really and it, it shows you where where the, you know like sitcoms have grown into and how they've gotten much better. It was great writing back right. then, but it's brilliant now. Absolutely, you can watch Different World on Bounce. You can watch Everybody Hates Chris on Bounce. That's it. Green Leaps on Bounce. Tamron Hall's yep. on Bounce. Sherry Shepherd's on Bounce. There's so many different things to watch. You got, I'm telling you, and it's free. Y'all get an antenna and get into this. <laughs> You know what this is going to do? This is going to put you on more television commercials because they're going to see your character as Angela. They're going to go, oh, we've got to get her. <laughs> I would love it. I would absolutely love it. When you do a television commercial, I mean, Barry Manilow used to say that when he would write jingles, it was just like mini songs. Is it like doing mm -hmm. a mini drama in, in the because, I mean, you've, you've got to bring your all, even though it's going to be 30 seconds, you still have to bring your acting skills. Absolutely. I've said for years that if you can do a commercial, you can do any other type of enter entertainment. You have to sell a product. You have to uh, make the uh, you have to create a character and sell a product all in 30 seconds. It's a beginning, middle and end. Some of them are funny. Some of them are dramatic. But it, if you can make people want to buy Tide detergent because you raised an <laughs> eyebrow and held up a pair of sheets, you can do anything. And also it's a very quick you know, we shoot commercial. I did 45 national commercials before I moved into television proper. You have like maybe six hours to yep. get the perfect 30 seconds. So you're running and gunning from the time you get there and you take that to whatever set you work on next and you're gold. I'm, I'm entertained by by the people on the set because, I mean, everybody's so serious. And, and really, in reality, I mean, being the voiceover actor or just the actor itself, I mean, you, you're just sitting there going, OK, just tell me what you need. We, we, we will deliver. Right. Yeah. It's it's all and listen, it's all tapping back into when we were kids playing make believe, really. Yeah. You know, you're just you're playing make believe. And and how great to be fifty one years old and getting to still play cops and robbers, essentially. <laughs> you know, and they pay me. It's amazing. <laughs> I got to give you kudos. I know that we're here to talk about Act Your Age, but I got to give you kudos because um, the w during the lockdown, I went back and rewatched Community all the Aww. way through. And what you brought to your character on Community, my God. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I had a great time working on that show. And it's funny, so many people discovered it um, on Netflix and Hulu and during the, the pandemic. I feel like the fans know the show way better than we do at this point. Because we get met, like, you know, when you carried your purse in episode five of season four, <laughs> when you carried your purse, I'm like, oh my God, I don't know how I was carrying that purse that day. So it's really fun to to re to see the show through their eyes because they just they just are rabid in the best way. And, and I love it. Well, even as Angela, you have a way of doing delivering your inflection where did you pick that up because i mean you can you can say things in in very very few words or you can bring out an entire emotional moment but we're paying attention to you 
Oh, thank you so much. I, I hope, and I hope when you watch Act Your Age, um, Saturdays on Bounce, you won't see Shirley Bennett or you right, won't see right. Helen Dubois from yep. Drake and Josh. I hope you see a completely formed, different woman. Um, I try to make sure every character I play gets to have her own way of walking, her own voice. Um, and so Angela is particular and persnickety <laughs> in, a, in a really interesting way. Um, but she's a lot of fun to play. She speaks really fast at times. Yep. She's she's got you know she's just a a very interesting character to play. And I think if people tune in, they're going to fall in love with her the way they love Shirley and Helen. Oh my God! You've got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. I would love it. I would love it anytime. Will you be brilliant today? Okay. Okay. You too. Thanks for having me.